I'm Jake Ryan. I'm I'm a bit of a quadruple role in this film. I um I, I wrote it. I am also directing it. I'm unfortunately the lead actor. And I'm also editing and doing the visual effects for it. I'm Sam Samuel Charles Martin Senior and I am Chester Jackson in this project. Um I play a medic, um in the in the short film and I may or may not be a hero we'll you'll just have to watch and find out won't you so the film's called Repentance which is um you know it appears to be a World War 2 film but deep down it's I guess you could say it's a um a film between two different types of personas that's probably the best way to put it um but um yeah so one persona which you know could either be the brave one or the scared coward is shown through two different brothers who are one, one's a soldier and one's a medic so yes it's a world war 2 film but deep down it's um it's much more than that it's it's interesting well i am um i'm a bit of a virgin if if you will to the film film industry. I really enjoyed today. Today was my first first day on set. Not not on set, on location. First day on location. There's a beach that I frequent in Byron, or outside of Byron for Broken Head. And um, I originally thought that this beach might be a, um, a good section to film on just because it's, a, uh, it's fairly long and you can get away without having anybody walk through shots, which is pretty pivotal to our, well, to my project that everyone's helping out on, which I'm very appreciative of. But, yeah, I went for a little bit of a exploration, I guess you could say, um, uh, during pre-production and found this awesome location. We pull up, we dismount the car, get out of the horse and carriage, grab all the gear, start hiking. Jake says, you know, five minutes down the road, we'll get there, no trouble. <clears throat> 45 minutes later, we finally arrive to our destination. Yes, yeah, I did tell the boys it was a five-minute trip or a little trek down the hill, which really it is. It is. I hadn't walked with equipment down there, and that five minutes did turn into a little bit longer. But, but you, they've got it. You know, well, they don't have to. But I like to say that I'm cutting myself some slack, actually. But yeah, you know, the the tide was high, man. Seriously, by the time we got um got out there and got the gear down the hill. Tide was just killing us, and our path over to the, you know to the main section of the beach where we'd be filming was uh, blocked off by probably about a meter and a half deep water, which uh, doesn't make it easy for when we're lugging around equipment. Um, so that was a bit of a waiting game, but you know we got there in the end. But overall, you know the the crew worked really well, the the actors worked really well, obviously because um, I'm I'm acting so. No, um, but in all seriousness, no, the, the crew and the cast were perfect today. You know, there wasn't any, any hiccups, which makes everything filming, like anything on a film, location or on a set, a lot more enjoyable. So as, as a, from a director's point of view, pretty happy. As this being my first acting role ever, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. And from, from life in general, I tried to not expect too much because I don't really like to get let down because... You know, I have been a lot. As an actor, for oh, well, uh, it's I don't know. It's it's kind of weird, man. Um, acting in a film that you're directing, especially something that's so serious and so close to my heart. CJ, Chester Jackson. He's um the younger of two brothers. He's um, always just wanted to sort of... He's looked up to his brother. His brother's always wanted to be a hero. He's always looked up to his brother. And he just wants... Like, he did his medical training. And he's just he just wants to do his mum and dad proud. His brother proud. Just in the country. He just wants to serve his country. So he's he's gone over a little bit internally scared. But, you know, just out there to help people and save, save his country, really, is what he wants to do, you know? Yeah, that's basically him. He's um, a good-looking chap, obviously, which you'll see in the film. We did have a couple of little uh, equipment issues. Um, the base places that we'll give him, um, 
yeah, they, the screw was too wide for the cameras. And there was a big confusion at um, and where we actually got the base plates from. So it kind of halted production a little bit. Um, but what can you do, mate? What's a uh, what's a film production without any um, without a hiccup, I guess? Usually I don't run well on no sleep, but I kind of feel like I'm just in overdrive at the moment, trying to um, trying to make sure that I haven't forgotten anything, either, you know, filming wise on set. On location, props, any anything, you know, you name it, pretty much. And so, um, I think that's kind of pushing me as well as the fact that I feel like I've got so many jobs to do, and I just, I just kind of feels like I, I need another, you know, twelve hours in my day and another three sets of arms, pretty much, because, yeah, it's it's insane. I met a lot of cool fellas today. Um. A lot of quirky individuals, interesting blokes, a lot of knowledge. There was a lot of knowledge on set, a lot of words that I did not understand, but that's all right because it was fantastic. I learned a lot. All the boys were fantastic. You know, great senses of humour. I really enjoyed working with them. To to prepare for this role, it's my first at main acting role, but to prepare for it, I watched a lot of war movies, and it was really just an excuse to get involved in war movies and sit in my bed and just watch them like I pretended like it was study, but it wasn't. Um, Band of Brothers was a real good one and I really studied there was one episode where it followed the medic around a lot and I was really into that and I was just sort of I drew on the character of the medic and what their role is you know when it, you personalise it and he's there to you know help all his other comrades or whatever you want to call them you know just yeah and I watched a lot of other just just great you know Saving Private Ryan just, just war movies in general really yeah and I just thought about what it would actually be like to you know be on the front line without a weapon you're there you're a sitting duck, but you're there to try and help your brothers. Samuel Charles Martin Senior um, has uh, is being very gracious and uh, you know given up a lot of his time, not only in previews but you know to come down and take in production. And I'm really stoked. You know, I really enjoy this guy's company, and he's always had a uh, had a flair for films, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, when when I was talking to him back in pre-production around casting time he expressed some pretty pretty keen interest so yeah I, I spoke to him about it and he, he was really keen and you know he, he really come along and developed who you know his acting skills and um yeah I'm, I'm really really stoked that I got Sam to play the the part of Chester he's um he's taken it on quite well I would move on to the crew but this guy's kind of crew and cast he's um is Griffith Moore. He's just an absolute ball of laughter to have on set, man. Seriously, like just some of the some of his deaths today were just hilarious. But he's um he's actually been the I guess you could say the uh um uh, I wouldn't say accessible death man, but he's the soldier that continually dies in in all, all my shots. But um no he's uh He's been a real big help, you know. Not only does he know a lot about being behind the camera, but he's also, you know, also a good feeling dead man. You know, Patrick Coe, who's a um a very talented filmmaker and cinematographer, and um, I've worked with Pat many times before, and you know, we've got a great working relationship, and you know, for this film, you know, I wanted to involve as as many close friends as possible, and um. And so he, he, I've decided to go with two cinematographers slash cameramen, um, and he's one of them. And so far, man, like he's been, he's been a really good help, not just talking about what he's got ideas for with, with um how to shoot things, but just a really, really big help just on set. Ah, oh, the, the trusty Lachlan Holmes. Yeah, what can I say about that? Um, Lockie's been a massive help. You know, not only just today, but in previous, you know, he's trekked down all the way from the Gold Coast to come down to Lismore and help me shoot some stuff just for previous and, you know, get a feel for how how it's going to look and develop through the story. And um, and because of this, and I've worked with Lockie on a few things before, and because of this, I really wanted to involve him as well. So he's the other cinematographer slash cameraman. Yeah, it brings me to the, the last fella that's that's been there from this morning. And that's uh, Michael Stimson who's holding the camera. And um, what can I say about Mickey D? Yeah, he's just a 
just an absolute pleasure to have on um to have have around. I don't know uh I don't know why we started calling Mickey D. His last name starts with an S, but he's just an absolute dude. But um, there is a couple of people that I would like to acknowledge throughout this um throughout this film. Um, we'll start with it. We'll start with the first fella that that helped me out. Um, Morgan Hindry. Oh, this dude is a uh, is a very funny cat, and he helped me um he helped me build the uh the face of the bunker slash pillbox that we're gonna composite through our green screen shoots. We'd also like to thank Sergeant Dave Longfield at the uh, Lismore Police Station. Um, because I was using prop weapons slash rifles, um, I needed to obviously inform the police and see if there was anything that I needed to do to you know, get the right paperwork done. And he was, he was a massive help. And he's got a really big, keen interest into, um, into World War Two. I couldn't couldn't have developed this story without Laurie, my advisor at SAE. Um, you know, like when I've had a mental blank or there's just been something like I just can't figure out a shot, you know, like he's been there to help me out. And um, yeah, it's been really cool to be able to bounce ideas off a senior lecturer and get some great feedback and get some creative criticism. So yeah, I'm really thankful for that. John Ward has... Um, has been very generous and he's donated, lent me some um, some ammo boxes for, for the film. And um, without those, the crowd replication might look a little bit stale. A, uh, a certain somebody who knows who I'm talking about who has donated um, the costumes, um, mate, they're unreal. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything better and they've worked perfectly. So thank you for that. You know who you are. I guess you. I guess you could say. Um, I better thank this girl. Cause she's pretty awesome. My girlfriend Emma. She's been a um an absolute rock. <clears throat> she uh she puts up with my my shittiness when when things don't happen and sh you know previs doesn't work once or there's certain shots that I don't get or there's just things that are just lacking. Bruce Priestley. Um, Cass Oldman who built the props who were fantastic um, he helped me out a lot by doing it at mates rates as well Matthew Hurst and the rest of the 84 gang for putting Sammy and myself up for um, you know to stay whilst we're doing the production down here saves um, saves a whole lot of driving gets us a couple of hours sleep extra so oh. mate I could sit here and thank everyone like Ian next door who let me in a letter press so I could do the dog tags, you know. Gave you a beer. He gave me a beer as well. And that was pretty tasty yeah. having that. So tomorrow we're we're taking the bare minimum down so that we don't have so much gear to carry back up because it's such a pain. It is so annoying. But yeah, you know, like the location's perfect, so I'm not complaining. I've got some thoughts for tomorrow. My thoughts are that I wanna to go to bed and I wanna get some sleep. And then tomorrow I want to get up and lug some heavy ass gear down that heavy ass mountain, and then I look, I really look forward to just, just putting myself into the character, just being CJ, being Chester Jackson, just in, just involving my entire being into him and jumping into the trenches and becoming Chester, and you know, just being that medic, saving lives, being a hero, which I may or may not be. But just, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that.